a hundred years ago, our diet used to consist of roughly equal amounts of omega-3 and omega-6. Now we're eating less omega-3 and about a thousand times more omega-6. One group of people who rarely eat enough omega-3 and have too much omega-6 are children. My favorite food is chips and beans. Chips. My favorite food is chips. A study on what over a thousand children ate in a day showed that 40% had chips at lunchtime. More than half hadn't eaten a vegetable or a piece of fruit for 24 hours, and the majority had eaten something sweet. I never eat fish. I don't eat fish that much. I never eat fish. Nearly all, 86%, had not eaten fish. If having a balanced diet is so important, could high amounts of omega-3 readdress this imbalance and boost brain function? I find it hard to believe that taking fish oil will suddenly transform a child's reading ability. I can understand that deprivation of fatty acids during a critical period of brain development may have a, a lasting effect. But once the brain is formed, it really hangs on to its fatty acids. I think it's very unlikely that one would see an improvement of, of behavior. There's no proper physiological basis to expect such a, a change to occur. We are going to make this pattern. To find out whether omega-3 could benefit normal school children, Dr. Madeline Portwood from Durham LEA carried out a trial on nearly 300 children. She assessed the children's reading, writing, and ability to concentrate. The trial lasted for six months. Yes, good girl. Right. Half the children took a supplement containing omega-3, and the other half had a fishy-tasting placebo made from palm oil. No one knew which child had which supplement. The other side, like... When Madeline reassessed them, she observed that the children who had taken omega-3 like Matthew, paid more attention in class. Yep. Foot. Strap on the watch. Yeah, well spotted, because you struggled with that last time. If you think what you were like before you started taking the capsules, what were you doing in school? Well, I wasn't, like, getting much work finished. And is that any different now? Yeah. So you like doing your work? I just want to get it all finished. All my thinking's just, like, popping into my head. What sort of things pop into your head? Like, good ideas of what I could do. Before the trial started, Matthew described himself as a child who had problems concentrating, didn't finish his work, and was generally in trouble most of the time. That was in school and, um, and at home. Um, since he's been taking the supplements, he describes himself as being very different. He's able to finish work. His concentration has improved. His attention to detail is greater. And certainly we've seen improvements in his reading and spelling abilities. The most striking difference, according to Madeline, was in the children's reading and spelling. Some, like Harry, who also took omega-3, showed improvements in their handwriting. This is Harry's handwriting before and after. The results are now in and they have exceeded my expectations. Children who were already functioning well above their ages, for example, I'm an eight-year-old child who was reading at the 13 and a half year level. Three months into the trial, he was reading at the 17 year level. Certainly, the trend is suggesting that children of all abilities are achieving their full potential. <laughs>